Amen. 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 Are you all seated? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On behalf of the presbytery, I'd like to welcome our apostle and his wife into our midst this evening. Amen. 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 And introducing the team tonight, hallelujah, is none other than our old apostle, Dr. Kovina Akufo. Without wasting it, let's go. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Afisha Bo. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring you greetings from the USA. Amen. My wife was just observing that every time that we are here, it's very cold. <laughs> so we have to organize ourselves and come here in the summer sometime. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's good to see everybody. But before I introduce the theme, why don't we uh, sing one song and go around and welcome each other? Or have you done that already? You did that already. Sorry. Okay, I will come and welcome you after church. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's good to see everybody. It's good to be back here again. It's so far away, otherwise we'll come and visit you more often. But at least we are glad that the Lord has opened the way for us to be here. I want to thank the Lord for your lives, for the life of the presbytery, for holding the fort. Uh, never despise small beginnings. Never despise small beginnings. God is going to do something great. Amen. Tell somebody, God is going to do something great. God is going to do something great. Tell somebody, God has sown the seeds of greatness already. God has sown the seeds of greatness already. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I believe that whatever God sows, it will germinate and, and, and grow and bear fruit. Amen. Amen. I welcome all of you to this 2017 Christmas convention in Canada in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 May God richly bless you for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here uh, to celebrate uh, Christmas and as well participate in this very important ministry of the Apostolic Church. Conventions uh, were part of the Apostolic Church from the very beginning. When I talk about the beginning, I'm not talking about Ghana, I'm talking about the UK. The UK. When the first, when the church was first established in the UK 101 years ago, 101 years ago, one of the first things that they brought into existence was gathering all the churches together to meet in one place, wait upon the Lord and celebrate the Lord, and they called it convention. It was not done then. It was not done, done by any church. They introduced it. And so it's viewed as a very critical part of our tradition, the Apostolic Church. And so I'm glad that you are here. And more of us will be joining us this weekend to participate in this important ministry of the Apostolic Church. So I'm going to congratulate you for being here. Why don't you congratulate somebody? Tell them, thank you for coming to this convention. <laughs> Amen. And I want to thank the Presbytery of this assembly for hosting this convention and for getting everything ready for us to be here today. Amen. Amen. The theme for the Christmas convention all throughout the Apostolic Church, Ghana, and in the diaspora is the proclaimed Christ. Say the proclaimed Christ. Proclaim Christ. Amen. Amen. And it's taken from Luke chapter 1, verse 31 to 33. Luke chapter 1, 31 to 33. Why don't you open to your Bible and I'll read from there. Luke chapter 1, 31 to 33. Do we need to translate what I'm doing here? Not tonight. Okay. I hope everybody can understand what I'm saying there. Okay. 
The theme for our convention is the proclaimed Christ, taken from Luke chapter 1, 31 to 33. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. Amen. 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 Throughout this weekend, we'll be ministering on this theme in various topics. Tonight, the ministration will be on the authority and supremacy of the Son. That is Jesus Christ. The authority and supremacy of the Son. And then tomorrow morning, the ministration will be on the humility of the Son. The humility of the Son. Tomorrow night, it will be on the glory of the Son and the majesty of His name. And then on Sunday, we'll be at the exposition of the theme, the proclaimed Christ. Amen. Amen. The passage that I read to you, which forms the, the key verse for our theme, is part of a bigger text, a bigger narrative called the Annunciation to Mary. Annunciation. If you are writing notes, Annunciation is spelled A double N U N C I A T I O N T I O N. Annunciation, the Annunciation to Mary. It is Annunciation coming from announcement. It is the announcement by the Archangel Gabriel to Mary of the coming of the Messiah into the world. And so, as something that is announcing the coming of the Messiah, who is to be king of the world, because later you will say that in Revelation is that the kingdoms of the world have become the kingdom of our Lord, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Therefore, this announcement is an announcement of the coming of a king. And any announcement of a coming of a king is called a proclamation. A proclamation. And that is why the theme is called the proclaimed Christ. That is the Christ is being pro proclaimed as king. Praise the Lord. So you see the idea of the theme. So the proclaimed Christ has implied in it a declaration of the divinity and the royalty of the Christ. Praise the Lord. It is a very powerful theme. Christmas is not just a celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, but it is the time at which the Christ, the King of Kings, the God of, or the Lord of Lords, was proclaimed to be King of the world, even before he was born. And so that proclamation is a prophetic proclamation. Amen. Because usually when a King is proclaimed, the person exists already, and we are proclaiming them. But this one, he did not, he, he was not in the world yet. He was to come. And so the proclamation was prophetic. So this is a prophetic proclamation of the coming of the king. Praise the Lord. Amen. And because of that, the passage also, and I will explain this in more detail on Sunday, uh, really uh, gave the authority and supremacy of that proclaimed Christ, which you will hear more about tonight. And then because of that, the authority and supremacy of the proclaimed Christ when that name that represents the name of Christ is invoked, that name surpasses all rulers and authorities and powers and spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms because he's the king of kings and lord of lords, period. Amen. Amen. The proclaimed Christ therefore has a certain majesty because he's king of kings and a certain glory about him. And he earned, when he walked this earth, this majesty, this glory through his unique humility, which you will hear about tomorrow, through his unique humility. Amen. Amen. So all the topics go together in order to explain the proclaimed Christ, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, our Lord Jesus Christ and Savior. So throughout this convention, as you learn about these things, you should be receiving them with a certain type of attitude that says that you are receiving the proclaimed Christ into you 
to understand the power that comes with that reception and then begin to exercise that power. Praise the Lord. Amen. You begin to exercise that power. And on Sunday, as I go through the theme, I will explain to you more how that proclaimed Christ applies to you and therefore why it is important to understand who the proclaimed Christ is. Amen. Amen. So I pray that throughout this convention, you have a learning spirit, you have a receiving attitude. A receiving attitude means that you receive from anybody and everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord. No matter who is ministering, you push the person aside and you go through them and receive from God. If you do that, you will receive. If you just focus on the person who is preaching, you will not receive anything. I pray that you will receive much today. May you receive from the Lord throughout this convention. Amen. 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 May the Holy Spirit take full control of all the church services that we are going to have. Amen. May He manifest His presence in a major way. May He touch you mightily. May He transform you from where you are to a higher level. May you never be the same. At the end of this convention, may it be said about you that indeed you are on fire for Christ. Amen. When you raise your hand, may demons flee. Amen. May the anointing of the Holy Spirit that breaks you overwhelm you completely. Amen. And may the blessings of God that He gives and asks no sorrow be yours and your lot and your portion in this land of the living by the end of this convention. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 On behalf of the National Council of the Apostolic Church and the Canada Presbytery, I declare this convention formally open in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, to celebrate.